Hello, I'm Bobo. I'm product specialist at Thinkbox Software. And in the following demonstration, we're going to look at some of the new features of Krakatoa True for 3ds Max, in particular here rendering and the Magma True editor. We'll start with the teapot and add default here and fur on top of it. I'm going to create a PRT here object which is new in Krakatoa True. It can be used to convert a spline node or a here farm object to particles or alternatively all the here and fur objects in the scene to particles. In this case we are showing 1000 preview part, um, strands. I can change this number to 100 and you're going to see only 100 of the hairs and we can also change the spacing in the viewport in order to draw less particles but at render time we're going to use a separate spacing value and every hair will be converted to particles producing millions. Let's uh, make sure that Krakatoa is assigned as the current renderer and that PRT here is checked as a rendering option and we'll also have to make sure that we have light in the scene. Currently the Krakatoa schematic flow is warning us that the particles will render black RGB unless we create light or use emission. I'm going to uh, click on the sort for zero lights node and create the default spotlight because this is a faster way to solve this problem but of course we could go and create our own lights in the scene using the 3ds max methods. At this point I could hit the render button and the particles will be generated and passed to Krakatoa. We are generating currently 3.2 million particles but you'll notice that the rendering looks more like straw and less like here because we're not varying the density along the splines. In order to do this, I can select the PRT here and add a Krakatoa Channels modifier with the new Magma True system. The Magma Flow True editor looks very similar to the old one, but it has a lot of new features. For example, you can open multiple editors at the same time. You can uh, create multiple output nodes in uh, the same modifier. You can have multiple output sockets in a node and uh, various uh, new operators were added. You'll notice that there is no default flow, so I'm going to press Ctrl O to create a new output and you'll no also notice that the density output, which I actually need in order to change my uh, here look, was selected as the output. This is because the um, creation of the output nodes uses the usage frequency list and it learns while I'm using the editor which channels I'm using uh, more often. So if I continue creating new outputs by pressing Ctrl O, the outputs that are being created will be in the same order as the sorting of the usage frequency list. In this case, I'm not interested in other outputs. All I want to do is create a density and I'm going to create also a density input by pressing Shift D now I'm piping the same density into uh, its own channel, so nothing is changing. But I want to actually multiply this value by a new uh, value that I'm going to calculate. You'll notice another new feature in Magma True is the default value for unconnected sockets. Some sockets support the default value, which if you don't connect the uh, corresponding input, uh, is going to be used instead. In the case of multiplication, uh, the va default value is 1 because any value multiplied by 1 uh, remains the same. But in this case, we're going to drag in uh, 3ds Max material uh, editor style, uh, just like in the slate editor. Uh, if I drag and drop into an empty area of the editor, I get a menu with all possible operators and uh, inputs. I'm going to select an input channel and make sure that I'm using the PRT here filter which shows me only the channels that are relevant to here rendering. I'm going to pick the distance channel which gives me the distance from the root in world units. That means each particle along the here uh, contains information about how far it is from the particle that is exactly the root of the spline. I'm going to divide this by another input which will be 
the channel called hair length and this is the world units length of the spline that means the result of the division will be a value between zero at the root and one at the tip but I want exactly the opposite I want to be one at the root and zero at the tip so I subtract and the subtract node again has a default second input of zero because subtracting zero from anything keeps that anything the same but if I press Control W the first input has a default of 1 because in many cases you actually want to invert the 0 to 1 gradient into 1 to 0 so this is the most probable value for subtracting from now we have our flow and I can hit the render button this will give me a linear gra a gradient from uh, the root tip and the hair will look more hair like I could of course introduce a uh, curve control uh, between the two nodes in order to have fancier fall-offs but at this point I'm not going to do this I'm going to close the uh, magma flow editor and we'll take a quick look at some of the shading options there are currently two here shaders provided with Cricutor the simple Kajia Kai here which has on the specular uh, power controls and uh, the more complex Mashna model which was used on the movie King Kong and uh, we can provide render elements for all these uh, um, shaders if I open the render dialog and take a look at the render elements uh, list I'm going to see the specular, the specular true, glint and diffuse render elements added already and I can add my own like tangent and normal if I would render now I'm going to get not only the beauty pass with all the uh, shading in it but also additional render elements with just the diffuse, the two speculars, a glint, uh, normal and tangent I could give those passes to a compositor to tweak the look of the hair in post this is the diffuse and these are the glints this is the color specular that's a secondary specular which is colored by the light passing through the hairs and this is the primary specular which is white light bouncing off the hairs without going inside in the next part of this demonstration we're going to look at uh, color controls for the hair how to uh, use colors to uh, vary the the look of the hair or provide gradients along the hair in order to um, generate even more fancy effects